What is up guys, it is Farzy here and today I'm gonna do a Minecraft tutorial on this here lighthouse. Now if you guys follow FarzyCraft you should know I just recently built this and it came out pretty good. There are a few hiccups here and there but it came out an awesome build so I'm gonna show you guys or share with you guys rather how I built this block for block so stay tuned. Alright guys, now let's begin finding your land to build it. So, find a big flat area like this, preferably something that's at least a 10 by 10 in area, but if it's bigger, easier and better. Now once you have your land, let's grab your materials. So, you're gonna need 8 stacks of white wool, 7 stacks of red wool, 3 stacks of cobblestone, 3 stacks of glass panes, and 30 glowstone. You can take a screenshot now if you want. That's an estimate for the amount of blocks, but it works out no matter what. You just get that amount just to be safe. Now let's begin the build. All right, guys, we're gonna start by putting down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of the white wool. Next to that, you're going to go one, two, three, four. On the other side of that same thing, one, two, three, four. And basically complete the circle. So again, one more seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. I'm kind of running out of space here. And then again, one more seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then wrap it back around. One, two, three, four. And you know the drill. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now you have a big circle for a base. Now once that's done, you're going to bring this up for a total of six. So five more on top of this. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. And bring the whole white area up to that height right there. All right, guys, it should look kind of like this. Now what you're gonna do is go to the inside of this and touching the top piece of white wool on every single block. Put a piece of cobblestone so on the inside make sure there's cobblestone touching every single piece of white wool so you have just a one wide ring around the inside of your white and you'll see why in a second it just makes your life a lot easier doing it this way we're going to continue placing down this then on top of that cobblestone red wool a piece of red wool on top of every piece of cobblestone now so you see the red wool is now in one and up one so it kind of gives the lighthouse that spire kind of shape and it looks more dimensional so we're gonna do this and just like the white bring it up five more for a total of six so that's one two three four five six and do all the rest the exact same Alright guys, this next part is extremely simple. You're gonna copy this exact same red pattern only in white. So on top of this, one, two, three, four, five, six, and do it for every single block so it'll be the exact same dimensions as the red. Okay guys, it should look like that. Now what you're gonna do on the final layer is just like the cobblestone we did down here, we're gonna place down cobble on every piece of white wool to the inside and then bring the red identical height, but just like how we did here, bring it inside one. So it'll complete the spire shape. If you know what to do, you can skip ahead. If you wanna see me do it, watch right here. So the cobblestone all goes down very fast. Piece of red wool on top of every single piece of cobble all around, then bring it up five plus to make six. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and do that for the whole cobblestone. Then you'll be done with the spire. All right, guys, now that's the spire completed. So the next step to finishing up the whole project would be to go up here, place down a piece of cobblestone on the outside of the red, then bring it up one, and you can break that last piece. So you're just going to do the opposite of what we did here. On here was the inside, this time it's the outside. We want a ring of cobblestone, one above the end of the red, but also one out. So if you're confused, watch me do it. It's not very complicated, but these builds can get confusing because I know more about what I'm doing than you guys do. 
Not to say you guys are dumb, but I've done this multiple times, you have not done it yet. So, now that's out of the way, continue placing down your cobblestone just like this. You don't want any of these like doubled up corners, you just want straight angle corners if that makes sense. Make sure everything checks out, and now we are good with that. Now what you're gonna do now is fill all this in with cobblestone all the way across so it's one solid level and you have a floorboard. So do that and then come back. All right guys, once that is all filled in, you are going to very simply fill the outside edge of the cobblestone with glass. You can complete these full corners and not just do that because then you see there's a gap. So you can put in the extra glass to just make all the glass connect and just connect the whole outside at first just by one. But we're going to raise that up in just a second. So do this very quickly. Nothing complicated about this either. Da da da. And we are just about done. Oops. Done. Now what you're going to do is raise that up just like all these other layers plus five for a total of six. That's one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then do all the rest so the whole glass room should be six tall. All right, guys, you finished the glass. I know it was annoying, trust me. But this next part, very easy, so it's a good change up. You're gonna go find the middle block here. So go to any side you want, Counting that last piece of cobblestone with glass on it, you're gonna count eight blocks back. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Place a block there, and that is your middle block as you can see. Now you're gonna raise that up five more on top of that. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So six high. And you're gonna take your glowstone, go one off the ground, Make a complete ring around that, just like this. You're gonna do that a couple more times, so just do it again, and a third time. And this is all personal preference, but I think the four is the best one in my opinion. But if you only wanna do three, that is okay too. Now you're gonna do something, again, pretty simple. Copy this outside skeleton of the cobblestone. So basically, on top of every piece of glass, put down a piece of cobblestone just like this. So do that and then come back. Okay guys, now what we're gonna do is just continue this shape it's going upwards into a spiral basically. So as we did kind of before, you're gonna place a block on the inside, raise it up, and do that for every single block. Now be careful of using cobblestone as your placer block because you may get confused about what's what, but just be careful and raise this thing up until you get to a peak. Now, if you wanna watch me do it, I'll speed this up so you can see. Otherwise, just do what you gotta do to get this thing to a peak. Okay guys, if you're like me, you want to cap it off before it gets too pointy, but it's all personal preference, a peak's a peak. If you want it to be like really pointy, all power to you, but personally, just from my Farsi craft experiences, I like to keep the roof of this pretty flat like that. And there you go, that's pretty much it. If you want to put some glowstone like hidden in here or something like that, for that reason, maybe you should. But I think this looks awesome. If we go very far away and you just look in the distance, you see a nice big lighthouse. It's got an achievement there too. But it glows perfectly. I think it looks awesome. So on that note, I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and do all that good stuff. Now I'll talk to you guys next time. So until then, goodbye.